early pioneers of Caribbean music got little monetary compensation for their songwriting skills, or their performances, and many fell on hard times like Lord Creator. If you haven't done so yet please subscribe to get future notifications about our next featured Caribbean celebrity. It came as a surprise that the ska, rocksteady, R&B, and calypso artiste Lord Creator was born in San Fernando, Trinidad in 1940 as Kendrick Patrick and performed under the name of Lord Creator. Lord Creator moved to Jamaica in the late 1950s, and was one of the few artists that was born outside of Jamaica to have had an impact on the music scene starting as early as the late 50s. He worked with other non-Jamaican artists like Jackie Opal from Barbados. Roland Alfonso from Cuba, Lynn Tate, and Lord Brinner from Trinidad, forging the ska and rocksteady rhythm which was the genesis of reggae. Lord Creator recorded his first big hit, Evening News in 1959 with Fitz Von Bryan's big band. In 1962, he recorded Independent Jamaica, which became the original song marking Jamaica's independence from the British Empire on August 6, 1962. The song was also the first record on Chris Blackwell's newly founded Island Records label in the UK. In 1963, he recorded Don't Stay Out Late, which was produced by Vincent Chin and became a huge hit in Jamaica. In 1964, he had another hit with Big Bamboo, produced by Coxon Dodd. He followed up later in that year with Little Princess. He also recorded a Calypso album, Jamaica Time in Studio One. It included classics like Jamaica Farewell and Yellowbird, as well as a cover of Bob Dylan's Blowing in the Wind. Big Bamboo was recorded at Dynamic Studios sometime after 1969 when the studio was established by Byron Lee. Lord Creator had another big hit with Kingston Town, a tune he had recorded for producer Clancy Eccles in 1970, which sold thousands of copies in the UK without making it to the charts. After that, he disappeared from the music industry for six years, and in 1976 he recorded Big Pussy Sally, a no-holding-back, free-spirited song which was done on the same tape as Faye Bennett's equally lewd and light-hearted Big Cocky Wally for Lee Scratch Perry in the Black Ark studio. Both songs were released on two separate Island Records singles in the UK. In 1978, Lord Creator returned to the Black Ark studio and re-recorded his 1968 hit Such Is Life which saw little success. During the 80s rumor had it that Lord Creator had fallen on hard times and succumbed to a life of homelessness on the streets of Kingston, and eventually Eccles helped to organize enough money for him to return to his family in Trinidad. In 1989, UB40 covered Kingston Town and Clancy Eccles and Lord Creator were recruited to give their seal of approval in the accompanying video. It is sadly ironic that Lord Creator never had the huge hit he deserved with his own version of Kingston Town, but at least UB40's success meant that a royalty check would go to the song's creator, ensuring him a decent life in his adopted home Jamaica. Lord Creator said that he spent more time in Jamaica than where he was born because his wife, children, and grandchildren were all born in Jamaica. He followed up by saying that he is a Trini by birth and Jamaica will always be his home because it's a very special place. At 81, Lord Creator lives in Golden Grove, Hanover, and has been unable to perform since 2005 when he suffered a second stroke. We wish Lord Creator good health and much prosperity. If you've listened to us this far give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to share and subscribe for more upcoming videos on Caribbean celebrities. One love.